Hi guys, something serious is going down in Jerusalem. I think they're resisting terrorist attackers. Or I, saw, I saw on the Jerusalem Post that uh, I think there might be multiple, but there's police and ambulance everywhere. I'm turning this around. I don't know which way it's facing. How do I turn this around? Something's going down. How are you? The initial reports I've seen on the uh, Jerusalem Post breaking news was that they said they think terrorists rammed something or something. I'm probably going to get in trouble for the video. Man, there's ambulances and police. I mean, I've seen hundreds of police cars drop by me. I'm sure I'm gonna get in trouble. They're going, this is, uh, I think they're going north and then also I've seen a bunch, they're on the wrong side of the road. I've seen a bunch going south also. I don't even know if this is feeding live. You can see a bunch of cars up there. They're going over that area too. But I've seen like hundreds of police cars. And I don't know what they're called here, SWAT or whatever going the other way also down that hill which is towards the old city Jerusalem there's a bunch over there I'm gonna try and see how close I can get without getting in trouble or being offensive Yeah. English? Where, where are you from? United States. You have an ID? Yeah. Give me clear. Go. Okay, never mind. This this block. Okay, don't go with it. Okay, thank you. God bless you. I kind of got a little scared there. <laughs> See, there's there's more that are going down towards Old City too. I don't know what's going on. There's some officers. I mean, they got guns and stuff, dude. The initial reports on the Jerusalem Post, which is like the main newspaper here. This is scary and sad. I'm gonna try and cross the street. I'm gonna see if I can get up closer, although that guy told me not to, but there's a lot of people walking over here. I'm glad they didn't. Uh, Get mad. They got that. Hi. What's going on? No. English? Did you 
you see what happened here? No, I was reading on the Jerusalem Post a minute ago, though. No good. It's kind of beaten. People coming with guns and all kinds of stuff. There's multitudes of officers coming. I mean, there's a whole slew of officers all the way back there, or whatever the SWAT or whatever they are, that are coming. I'm gonna get in trouble. Probably not to get any closer. I don't know the walls here and stuff. Yeah, that's quite loud. It's close to get. I didn't know you can see the dome of the rock from up here. Something's going on down over that hill. Excuse me. I don't know what it is. But something's going on. Love you guys. God bless. I'm gonna see if I can find something else. I, I might. I don't know if this is on live or what. But I'm gonna try and come back in a little while. Well, maybe. I don't know if this is even recorded, but.
helicopter. Like I said, if you're just tuning in, I was sitting at home, getting ready to make lunch and go down to the old city and uh, I heard just sirens and sirens and sirens and sirens. So I logged on the Jerusalem Post breaking news and it said that a possible terrorist attack that somebody had rammed something and that apartment that I posted the video of I rented is just like three blocks that way. <laughs> and uh, just and there's something else that's going on. The old city's right over there. And then there's a market kind of down in that area that uh, somebody, uh, a lot of officers and ambulances are going that way as well. But the, on the, uh, down that hill, there's a bunch of action. Or I think it's down over that hill in that valley down there. Which kind of is in my apartment area. And just a minute ago, a bunch of armed people just pulled up. I've never used this live thing before, but I, I, I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna look and see if I can log off and kind of log back on. Cause if I can get to my apartment, it's right down over there. I might be able to get a better, a better view. Sunday and Sabbath was yesterday, so uh, like that's where the Jews don't, the Israelis don't do anything. And uh, uh, so today is kind of their holiday day. I'm gonna see if I can walk around. I don't want to get shot. down here. Probably shouldn't be walking up here. I don't know. I guess I'll keep going till they stop me. Ooh, kind of nervous. Helicopter. I probably shouldn't be down here. My heart's racing. Like, I think all the police and stuff are over there. I'm probably walking right where I shouldn't be walking. Which is not cool. Like, I 
back, I think. Man, I don't want to walk down into that. My heart is pounding, dude. I'm not real familiar with what's over in this area. It's behind the apartment that I rented. But, uh, there's kids on segways. If there's kids on segways, let's see what they're doing. They might not have any clue as to what's going on. And the kids on segways are coming back. Hello. There's the dome of the rock. Man, I should probably not be down here. Lord, protect me right now. I want to go that way. Yee. I'm not going to. I feel like I'm breaking the law or something. Hey, there goes those people on Segways. I'm gonna follow them. Say, I didn't know. I can't do that though, because I'd be lying. That's a pretty view La later or tomorrow or something. I'll come up here and get a photo of that. I didn't even know that that was up there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of mess of commotion down there. There's a whole slew of people in front of me. I don't know how long this battery's gonna last or how far I'm gonna be able to walk. Yeah, there's a whole mess of people way in front of me. And police tape and stuff. I already see the police tape. Switch my phone. That's a pretty view. Oh yeah, something's going on down there. Like I said a minute ago, I was sitting at the house or my little apartment. Thank you, Lord. Uh, making lunch. And uh, I heard all this commotion. And you always hear sirens and stuff here in Israel. But it was just one right after the other. There's hundreds of them. And I got on JerusalemPost.com and seen it. 
initially they said somebody had uh or something someone or a group of people or something and they initially you know speculation but i am in the middle east that a terrorist had rammed some people but usually it happens down by the old city which is down there that's the jaffa gate and the old city this is kind of a not a whatever this is kind of far away from everything I don't know what's going on. I don't know how much closer I want to get. I don't know. Yeah, those look like... That looks like not... I don't know. I probably should be filming. I'm the only American here. Gosh, I'm gonna show you this. I don't wanna get in trouble, but you can see that work truck looking thing and they shot up the bullet holes. Oh my gosh. Hello. He's getting interviewed right next to us. Yeah, 
כי אתה רואה מאחוריי את הזירה, הזירה של הפיגוע הקשה הזה, פיגוע שלא ראינו כמותו בירושלים בגלל הפיגועים הנוכחים. אתה רואה את האוטובוס הכחול ומצידו את המשאית שאמרתם קודם, משאית קטנה יחסית, לא כבדה, לא עושים את ריילר, היא מגיעה בכביש לכיוון שממנו, שבו אנחנו עובדים, מגיעה מכיוון ג'אבר מוקאבר, רואה את זה קצת הולכי הרגל, יורדים מהאוטובוס בעצם אל הדשא. שמעברו נמצאת הטיילת ופשוט עולה על המדרכה ועל הדשא ודורסת אותם 15 פצועים, שלושה מהם נלכדים תחת גלגלי המשאית ומחולצים מהם לפני דקות אחדות. אנחנו עם אבי חובב, סגן מנהל מד"א ירושלים. אבי, סדר גודל של אירוע שלא ראינו כאן כבר תקופה ארוכה בירושלים, קצת על העבודה שלכם והטיפול בנפגעים. rammed some pedestrians and they shot up that work-looking truck. Like I said, uh, I don't even know if this thing is still recording, but uh, uh, man, there's bullet holes all in that truck. And apparently what I heard when I was making dinner a minute ago, or lunch, I mean, uh, is that uh, I think there was a couple of these that went down. Uh, they're attending to people over there. They're tending to people that think they got hit over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bullet holes in that truck that I can count. And like I said, the initial breaking news on the Jerusalem Post was that uh, uh, that a truck had rammed a, a, a group of pedestrians or a uh, a bus. Please be praying for them pedestrians there. If that's what happened. Shout out, I don't know what time it is back home, but be praying for whomever. I think they're getting ready to pull out the body of the, the uh, alleged terrorist or whatever. Man, that is horrible. I see somebody just, Tracy, this is, uh, like, the apartment is right, like, three blocks that way. I was sitting at home a minute ago, uh, making lunch, and, uh, getting ready to go, go eat or eat and go walk around and I heard just siren after siren after siren after siren and you get used to hearing those things in Israel but it wasn't stopping it was relentless so I logged on to the uh, Jerusalem Post and seen that uh, breaking news on the Jerusalem Post is that somebody possibly one or one possibly two they say terrorist attacks had happened and that uh, on the initial report man this is horrible uh, that uh, that somebody had rammed a bus or a group of people, and so I followed the police and the ambulance and stuff. I'm gonna see.
see if I can walk around. I'm not trying to be more. Looks like the bus is empty at least. Thank God. I don't know how much battery life I got or if this thing is still even going. They've got all this all the bags out of the bus, I guess probably checking for explosives or whatnot. Those are bodies, folks. that white cloth
you can see the bullet holes, or a couple of them, from this side. And you can see kind of in the back of the bus there. I don't know if that was there before or after. If I'm still recording, somebody send me a message saying I am. Thanks for letting me know I'm still going. שגלים זה גם עובד ברמה הגיאוגרפית וגם עובד ברמה הבינלאומית. ככל שמדובר בגלים שהם מושפעים מטרור אסלאמי, אז כמובן אפשר גם לראות טלוויזיה ולהיות מושפעים, ולכן קשה מאוד להיכנס לראש של כל אדם ולהגיד מה השפיע עליו, אבל אין ספק שהדברים האלה משפיעים. ההסתה עדיין נמשכת במזרח ירושלים? אנחנו לא מפסיקים לטפל בהסתה. ההסתה היא כמעט בכל מקום. צריך לומר, היא בעיקר במדיה, במדיה הפלסטינית, אנחנו מטפלים בזה יום-יום, בסירים שכנים, מטפלים במסיתים, מטפלים בדרשנים מסיתים, זה לא משהו שנגמר ביום אחד. אנחנו לא שופטים ולא נחים, כי אנחנו מבינים שהדברים האלה משפיעים, ויש בהחלט כאלה שהולכים לעשות פיגוע כי שמעו דרשה כזאת, או ראו משהו בטלוויזיה. האם יש קשר בין אלאור עזריה למשפט שלו לבין עכשיו לפיגוע? האם כתוצאה מכך... מחבלים מבינים ששווה... עם תהליך של התעצמות מדינות משטרת ישראל למקומות הכואבים, בדגש על מזרח ירושלים, בדגש על מגזר ערבי, כדי להחזיר את המשילות במקומות שלהם. הפשיעה והטרור... Front. 
And I don't know if they've been, they say it was, the, the initial reports was that it was terrorist. And uh, so that's all I kind of know. Close the door on the perpetrator's truck.
that's the kid that told me to take my the one talking to the other guys the one told me to take or he was gonna take my phone a minute ago so What happened is a uh, this, is, this is hearsay, but uh, a uh, again, I was sitting at home making lunch, getting ready to go walk around. I just heard sirens after sirens after sirens after sirens, and I logged on to JerusalemPost.com. And breaking news was that uh, one or possibly more terrorist attacks. Somebody had rammed a group of pedestrians, and uh, so I came up here. And there's a what we refer to in the states as like a work bed, flatbed. Almost a box truck, but with a flat, flat bed on the back instead of the box. And uh, it's middled with bullet holes, and uh, there's people on the ground uh, under body bags on the other side that I showed earlier in the video. So please be praying for everyone. תודה. I'm going to go see if I can walk back over here. See if I can walk back nonchalantly to the other side. I don't know if this bus would got hit or if it like knocked the guy off the road or girl or whomever. Hi. 
Okay. Thank you. There's the dome of the rock.
you know, it keeps running through my head too is when stuff like this happens. And I'd say, hope, prayfully, it doesn't. But they get groups of people to a place. Thank you. Gosh, you can just see that guy's boots that look like he was riding a moped. The guy's life's ended. 
make his life just in me today. Ben, I think you're watching. I'm going to go back to the other side and uh, see about uh, if they're uh, speaking Hebrew. If maybe you can help post what and understand what. Man, that guy was just somebody's. I don't know how many people over there, but they was just somebody's dad or uncle or something, brother, husband. Now he's playing over there, dead. Because political or religious strife or whatever that doesn't make any sense to me but Ben like I was saying if I get back over here maybe you can help people if תביא אותה אחר כך לפה, ינובסקי. אני לא, אני אתה תדבר בקבוע. לא, אתה תדבר קודם, אני הייתי ראשון שלו.
Is this a regular? Is this a regular slot? Soldiers come here. I think so. You'd be able to. You, you know that they would come. Somebody would know. Would you ask if the terrorists would yeah, know would, that would, they would, come. Yes, I don't know. I, I, I'm not from the police. I assume that they didn't know. Just come here. There's a, a Arab neighborhood, Jabal Mukawa, Jabal Mukawa, just behind you, uh, known for his terror attacks. There were a few terrorists coming from there in the last year. Can you, can you just uh, describe the state of the soldiers after the attack? How did the young soldiers react? Can you just describe? At the beginning, I think they didn't understand that there were killed uh, soldiers, and I think the, that they were told that there are no killed uh, soldiers. And, uh, they started to cry and they started to scream, and, and they didn't know what was happening. They were ordered to go here and there, and we didn't know what to do, it wasn't them, I mean, we didn't know any better than them. What did you do yourself? What? I tried to have whatever. I, I went with them to the ambulance and I, have, I gave them tissue, not, not very much. I, you know, I can Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm עכשיו תעברו אלינו הכלא, יצאו... 
I just moved here from in English. Oh, 
I just moved here three days ago. Yeah. But I don't know. Nobody speaks English except for you. What? Don't you know what happened? Yeah. Well, he kind of just told me. My apartment's just like two blocks from here. I heard sirens. But I'm used to hearing. No. Horrible. Okay, I just kind of talked to some guy and he just kind of informed me what was going on. There's some terrorist slammed into a crowd. From the states? I am. I just moved here. I'm John. Shannon. Hey, John. Nice John, to meet you. I just moved in an apartment right over there too. I heard. Where? Just... Cosby? Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. I live right at the end there. Right. Number five. Uh, no, I... thirty. I live at seven. I'm sorry. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. I moved in two days ago and then. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You said your name was John? Yeah. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm not gonna film you, but what happened? Uh, Rob ran into a group of uh, IDF. Uh, soldiers that that's kind of because I sit in the apartment making lunch and uh, yeah. right. stop by and say hi. God bless you. Okay, so yeah, four uh, supposedly four people were killed and uh, others injured. See all the bullet holes in the uh, in the work truck.
I'm not filmers. I'm going to walk back to the other side. I'll try to. If you're still watching or you just tuned in, I was sitting at home a while ago uh, at my little apartment in Jerusalem and uh, I just kept hearing police cars, cop cars, ambulances go by, which is not that strange. And uh, there's the Dome of the Rock way over there. They're just innocent kids. And uh, my neighbor's actually here. But I was cooking lunch and uh, just kept hearing these sirens and stuff go by. And uh, so I went out, grabbed my pack, and went out the door and started following them. And uh, they were going in two different directions, but I went to the left and uh, came up here. And somebody in like a, a work truck slammed into a group of tourists. And uh, from what I've heard, there's four dead. And. Uh, Uh, more injured. Man, it's just tragic. This just goes back to say, that, like, just what happened in Fort Lauderdale. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, man, you don't know when, when your ticker's gonna expire. And, uh, I beg you to get that relationship. These people were on a tour. And I seen one 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 guy he was on the video earlier but it looked like he was on his moped Israeli flag, that's cool. I seen that guy walking the other day. Walking down the street, that's kind of neat. See if I can get back over here to the other side. Probably the only video I ever posted. I'm not gonna apologize for it being long. They're removing the bodies.
that's those people's belongings and stuff. Just too much like I got the same kind of backpacks and stuff. I seen that guy with the Israeli flag walking in, down the street the other day. I don't understand why those other people can go 
down there. But I can't. Put my hat on. On my hoodie. עמי, מוזיזים את המשאית, עמי. They're moving the truck that the guy used to ram.
Understand that shouldn't be legal sitting there. Uh, that in that truck over there that's riddled with bullet holes, that uh, a perpetrator uh, slammed in a group of tourists. And on this video, you'll see you can kind of see their backpacks way over there. Uh, Four of them are dead, and uh, I'm assuming the perpetrator's dead as well. It's, it's crazy. Tracy Wade is saying that three of them were female Israeli soldiers, and uh, I don't know if one of them was the guy on his moped or not. I kept seeing his boots under the body bag. I don't understand the hatred. Oops, sorry. Okay. 
No nails, no needle will fall in this country. I make an order to my people in Syria and Shemaya, to the people in the Bika and the people in the Golan, and in all Israel and Judea. I will not agree, not even my families agree, on your meeting that you're going to conduct in the front. It's against my will. I've been anointed by all the rabbis that live in this country. I have certificate, they anointed me to lead and shepherd our country, to shepherd the Jewish people. You understand that? I am not agree for such thing. The house of the king is a peaceful house. It's a total peaceful house. But it's not like the peace that you you and prepare for us, the nation of Europe. Abdallah will hear that. The kings of Saudi, Qatar, Dubai, all those people will hear about it. The king of Norway, the European king, the king of Greece, you will hear that I'm not a Greek. My family and the prince in Africa too, for my family. We not agree for such things. Day by night killing our people. We not agree. I've been anointed by the leaders, by the religion leaders of the country. Why you ignore us? Why you ignore my position and the position of the royal family of this country? Why are you making your own? Why are we not invited? We've been here before 1948, yes? Before 1948, we've been here. My family live in peace with the descendant here. Why you not let us handle the situation with the Arab people, with the Palestinian people, with the leaders of the Palestinians? Why you don't let us handle it? Why are you going to democratic procedure? Why are you going to the Somebody just sent the thing saying they thought there was an, uh, something else. And when I was walking from my apartment, I heard uh, are the police and the ambulances were going two ways. Received most of the bridges, the worst terrorist attacks that have taken place in Jerusalem in the last year. This is one of the worst terrorist attacks that have taken place in Jerusalem, but our main emphasis is at the moment to prevent any further terrorist attacks from taking place here in Jerusalem. We've heightened security both across the central bus station area and the train station area in order to make sure there was no further terrorist attacks. Not at all. This was a terrorist attack that took place by one terrorist spreading. He carried out the attack when he saw the group of uh, soldiers out there at the scene. It wasn't a planned attack, although what we can say it was planned to take place. It was sporadic. Uh, at the same time, we investigated. What happened was, uh, what time is it? 3.30, so about 1, I think, maybe 1.30. I was in my apartment in uh, Jerusalem, no, uh, northeast Jer or southeast Jerusalem, and uh, like a kilometer from the old city, and I kept hearing sirens, and uh, so I followed them, and... Uh, they were going two different directions, but I went north on Hebron Road. I think Hebron Road. Maybe it's not Hebron Road. But uh, uh, this is just hearsay, but a Palestinian in a big work truck uh, slammed into a group of people and uh, killed four of them and injured many more. And uh, he was shot and killed. And, uh, but I've heard also that there was a shooting, a, a random drive-by shooting somewhere else in Jerusalem. And uh, I don't know, man.
I keep hearing sirens too. Hopefully, nothing else goes on. No, we've heightened security in another one in Jerusalem in order to make sure there won't be any further terrorist attacks. We're not talking about thousands, we're talking about hundreds of police officers in and around the different areas. If you look, they've got the crime scene kind of cleared off now. You can see the front of the uh, the vehicle used to ram people by the terrorists. And by the way, the Prime Minister, the minister is coming. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Rumor has it that uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Newton Hanye, Newton Hanye is on his way, so I'm going to log off here, and uh, if he shows up, I'll log back on, because that's a really big deal. Or maybe I'll just stay on, I don't know how much data, or, it's probably, I don't know, I don't know how much data, or uh, what you call it, uh, battery I have left. English. You can come more close. Uh, he's leaving. Yeah, just told me my battery's low, so uh, I'm gonna get off here. I love you guys. Peace. Please be praying for uh, praying for this country and then people that lost their lives. Like I said earlier, that's somebody's. Those are somebody's kids, and parents, and uncles, and cousins. I'm gonna try and go back to my apartment. It's not far from here and charge my phone up. I love you guys and God bless. <laughs>